What's going on in Shadow 2080 here and I'm back with another video and this time I thought we'd go ahead and go back into TMNT Mutant Madness again. And I know this has been a while since I've done this but I'll let you know a lot has changed and I have gotten a, a low, ooh, sorry, um, a level 4, Ray. <laughs> it is interesting, the, um, the character is really OP if you have the right team, especially if your team is not only higher in level, but higher in star ratings. The one I had really high at first was Shredder, but then now I got a level 4, so he's technically my highest one now. Oops. Then Leo is actually now the highest at 54, which you can see is right there. And... The thing I will say is that some parts of it I am disappointed with some of the things, like for starters... Um, I did max out my, um, season pass, so I got the, uh, four-star Raphael drive, but the only way to activate that is, see that thousand purple? Well, the squares on that one has to match up with what you have, too, so, it's not like, uh, AFK Arena where you use the souls and then you have it already to just get the, the hero. For me, the character, in order to get Raphael, I have to have a thousand. Which is, you know, kind of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, there are some cheap formalities in the game that I don't like. But, anyway, there's that. And I have done this before, too. So far, this is the only game I've seen that has this. The gems. Where it says free. I'll show you real quick. See, it says select it for you. And it's telling you that you can earn... um gems by playing these games and meeting certain conditions and i've done that there's some i haven't finished by accidentally inputting some or some were just way too long to complete so that's just me on that note for that so it's not bad i enjoy it oh, i'm sorry if you hear the car start or anything <laughs> um Oh, it wasn't... Uh, right now I'm waiting in line for uh, for an oil change, but uh, it's going to take a while. So that's why I thought I'd do a little recording real quick. Hopefully I'll upload this by the time I'm still waiting for everything to finish. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So those are in progress, and then these are the ones I've earned. And those are how much you can you can earn. So it's not bad. I'll give this one props for it. Another thing too is that lately, I'll check my mail. All right, so I got that. I mentioned class. Oh, okay. So I have that set and done. So I can go ahead and get another hero. Arma is up to 33. So she is pretty bursty, but not that great. Now I can get... Oh, wait, I can't. Maybe I'll equip. Shredder, I have another gear I can equip. Maybe I should have done Leo first, because he is technically the highest one now. Okay. Uh, I think that's as far as I can go with all this. Uh, once that's maxed out, you know, I can't do much about it. And then as far as the advertisements go, I would recommend it because... That's the only way you will be progressing faster in this game if you guys want to give it a try. Uh, for starters, see like this one, it gives you gems. And then when you battle, which I'll show again too. I know when I first did the recording, I skipped. Looking back at it now, thinking about it, I shouldn't have. Because they are crucial. You are needing to actually watch these ads. Which kind of sucks to get more uh, items that you're going to need. So, like right there, see, I, I can't do anything about it. And then as far as my Dimension Clash, <clears throat> this is a new season too. Oh, not two, but this is a new season as well. I should have said. <laughs> so, this has changed. So, now the Power Mutation goes with the um, Zach. Uh, I forgot his name. The, the, um, what was his name? Where are you? I'm not going to need B-Pop. Right there, there he is. Uh, Baxter. So I am going to need Leo. Probably put Arma on the back. 
Uh, probably, let's see. Oops. Oh, man, Raph is really short, but I will make that happen. All right, so my team's set, and let's try it. The thing I noticed about this game is that I think a lot of people have been really blowing a lot of money in this game. I'm still doing it. I'm still making it as a free-to-play. And I know in this one, I don't think you were able to create a secondary account. Kind of, kind of like AFK Arena, where you could have two accounts or multiple accounts. But this one I have is one. Oh, there goes Leo, there goes Shredder. I'll have his Baxter and uh, Ray. Uh, so far, they're doing work. Bam! The other season, I are not season. I keep calling it season, but the um, the ranking I had for um, fighting for the uh, PvP didn't do well in the last one, but this time it looks like it might be decent. Hopefully. Oh man, I swear Raph is just so OP with his tank. I think Ray can barely take him. I think Raphael is the OPS tank in my opinion, because holy hell, that guy can really dish out the damage and pain. Like this see, victory, there'll be an advertisement watch. So that's one thing that I will say you, I would recommend doing. So that way you don't miss out on getting more ooze and getting more scrap metal for your progression. I'm going to keep the team the same, and I'm going to keep the formation the same. There's no point in changing it, because uh, the only one I have is Baxter that is really high in damage for now because of the the uh, power mutations on him. <clears throat> so that's another thing that I think about the game, too, is that sometimes you could get a character that will take your, uh, your progression around tournament. Ray can barely take it, but this is where I think I'm going to lose Ray, because <laughs> he's only got a 15% health left. And that meter on top, I, I think it's just more of a charisma meter. The higher the meter, the damage, the less damage, or the no damage you'll be taking. See? So that's the thing I don't like about this one. Even though, yeah, I know I'm winning, but still, it's an issue, too, that the momentum meter is kind of, like, cheap. So it can give your team a real good advantage. So I have it set and done. <clears throat> okay, there it goes again. The line just moved on my part, so... I'll go ahead and keep it right here. And just wait again. See, like that. Right there, that TV monitor. So, you would watch the advertisement. And then, basically, that's it. <laughs> There's not much to do with it. Other than just that. Take from what you have. I think there's only... I don't know if I could get in here. But I'm only waiting in line to see what goes on. I'm about to end the video. I know I haven't done all 10 fights for it. But I might have to cut it short. Because like I said, I'm in line. I'm kind of doing errands. So I forgot to do something again. And here it is. <clears throat> so right now I'm in number three, and I have eight more fights to continue. <clears throat> One thing I will say is the more fights you win, the better off you're, you'll be getting for um, your rewards in um, the PvP Clash. So like this one, I don't know if I'm going to win this because already most of my team just got annihilated. This is Slash... Uh, and then I'll take out Slash. I got rid of uh, Rock City. Now I just have Bebop and Slash. Okay, yeah. I will get them both. Bam. See, look at that. Ray is pretty high. The higher the stars, you know, the better your characters will be doing. Your team. Now I'm in second. I think the per, uh, so many people lost their rounds a lot. <clears throat> you guys don't have Ace the Duck. Baxter. And um, who was the other one? Ooh, Leo got annihilated. Shredder's gonna deal his last damage before he's done. Ray is also gonna deal his last damage. Ooh, man, I, I lost this one. See, like those guys, it, it may show the meter I had it on me, where it was an even fight, but those guys are probably like four stars, I believe. So, my guys got annihilated in that one. So, I don't have enough for that. Okay, so I can. Come on. Alright, there we go. 
So now I have Ray up to a 50. Hang loose. Gain 1.8k defense. Target the lowest health and at any ally. Range 3 and give 3.59k defense to them. Okay, cool. So I have Ray up at 150. Shredder's at 150. Next, I'll probably be working on Leo. But then again, Baxter is probably another one I would prefer to be trying to increase because of the power meter on this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Um, if I do another video for Mutant Madness again, I'll let you know how I did, and I'll show you guys the progression. But here's the rewards you'll be getting if you can take first. So first place, you get 460 blue gems with 12 purple gems. But in the way they're called, uh, greens are twos, blues are um, threes, and then the purples are four-star gems. I don't know what color are the five stars, but um, then after that you get the the um, the 120 lumber. I don't know what the paint, the uh, wood, and I'm not sure about that racer-looking thing. <laughs> so it's a really good tier, and I'll admit that that's actually worth getting. And right here is me. I'm almost up to that first first one, so I could get it. Can I? The Apprentice. TMNT Mexico. <laughs> Wait, what does mine say? Oh, okay. Oh, so those guys are in the clan. She in the clan too? Yeah. Let's see. I want to invite somebody. Okay, I think I sent an invite. I'm not sure. I think that's how it works. So that one's in a clan. Yeah, I have nobody in a clan. Uh, if you guys ever do want to join, if you guys do play, give it a try. Then my clan is right there. <laughs> uh, the TMT 1987 Radical. The reason I chose that is because that's the TV show I grew up with watching when I was small. So that's for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is not lengthy, but I hope you guys really did enjoy this. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment what else you want to see. And I'll do another one again, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!